Now we're going to factor difference of two squares. This is an easy one. First, you have to be able to recognize your perfect squares. A perfect square is a number multiplied by itself. So, we start with 1. 1 times 1. 2 times 2. 3 times 3. 4 times 4. 5 times 5. 6 times 6. 7 times 7. 8 times 8. 9 times 9. 10 times 10. You have to be able to recognize your perfect squares from 1 to 100. A perfect square is a number I can take the square root of evenly. So now, Let's say I have this, a squared minus 25. Let's say I want to factor that. I actually, I don't even need the parentheses. So I want two quantities that multiply together that give me a squared minus 25. First, I would look for greatest common factor, what we did last time, but there is no common a. There's no common 5, there's no greatest common factor. Then I would check for difference of two squares. If I have two squares, which I do, two things that multiply together give me a squared or a and a. Two things that multiply together give me 25 that are identical, 5 and 5. So I do have difference of two squares. I can factor it, and this one's easy. I get a plus 5 and a minus 5. I can always check difference of two squares by FOIL. I should be able to multiply these two and get back to here. If I multiply my first, I get a squared. If I multiply my outers, I get minus 5a. If I multiply my inners, I get plus 5a. I multiply my last, I get minus 25. Outers and inners combine. They go to zero. So I have a squared minus 25. I'll do another one. Let's say I have x squared minus y squared. I want to factor it. I do have difference of two squares. If I have difference of two squares, which means I have to have a difference, two means you have to have two terms in front of you, and everything you see is a perfect square. If it is, I could factor it. I get x and x, that'll give me x squared, y and y. In difference of two squares, your signs are different. 1 plus, 1 minus. That's so the outers and inners will go to 0. Order doesn't matter. If somebody wants to put a minus here and a plus here, they can. We'll do another one. Let's make it x squared minus 4y squared. It's difference of two squares. So I have x and x, 2y, 2y, 1 is plus, 1 is minus. Uh, we'll try one more with two coefficients. Let's say I have 49x squared minus 81y squared. I have difference of two squares. I can factor it. I get 7x, 7x. I get 9y, 9y. 1 is plus, 1 is minus. And uh, we'll do one more. Let's say I have w squared minus 16z squared. I have difference of two squares. So I have w, w. I have 4z, 4z. 1 is plus, 1 is minus. That's it. That's how we factor difference of two squares.